Hey everyone, it's Jennifer and I'm sitting here in front of the fireplace that was all a much more oh, yellowish, orangish brick color a few weeks ago. And I'm gonna show you real quick what we did, okay? I've showed you some of the products. You know that we used French Vanilla from Heirloom Traditions. The reason I selected this color uh, is because it's not a white white, okay? Creamy white, soft white, looks so much better than something that's white white. Second, chalk paints or chalk type paints are going to dry kind of a matted look and I really didn't want any sheen to this all right brick looks dry and I wanted to just change the color but continue uh, you know with that dry porous look okay so here's what I used that and dun, 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 these car washing sponges that you can purchase at um, Walmart I think they're like 98 cents you guys and I buy them literally by the case there okay so we buy these, we use sponges like this all the time, and we literally rip them in half, or a third, or whatever. And I've already had one ripped here and dipped in paint, and I literally just put a tiny bit of paint on a sponge, okay? And since it's already done, I don't wanna put more on here, but we're going to just drag it across the top of the brick, and that is it. That's what we did for the entire time. We took um, a pointy chalk paint brush to do the um, grout lines, and we did the grout first, grout, grout, grout in a huge section and then just wipe this across the brick and just continue until we were good. I promise you, this is a super, super easy project. Anybody can do this. You don't need a sealer because it's porous, but um, there's no reason to like put a top coat and make it shiny on it or to seal it in. Does that make sense? So it's a one-step thing and it's done. It's glorious. All right. I hope that that's helpful for you guys. If you end up doing your fireplace, I want to know about it. Send me a picture. Okay. Bye-bye.